G'day from a very grey Japan. It was a pretty grim afternoon and it left a lot of the Japanese fans dissatisfied, angry even, at uh, the very little running that happened in FP2. And I guess you can't blame the teams. Uh, they certainly didn't want to risk their cars being damaged, but unfortunately, there wasn't a lot of laps. VCARB came out and I think they did that primarily because they uh, have lots of local fans. They entertained them with some laps, nothing terribly quick. Red Bull didn't even come out at all. So a disappointing afternoon for them. But you've got to hand it to the fans. They sit out there rain or shine. They are certainly devoted. Where was I? Well, I went over to the other side of the track and I was amongst all the cherry blossoms and a whole lot of amateur photographers. And there were so many with long lenses. This is an amazing track because they do encourage people to bring their lenses. I was hoping to get a lot of cherry blossom shots. In the end, I got a handful. It was lovely to see. Of course, cherry blossoms aren't normally blooming when we are here, but we're here six months earlier. While there's some light rain falling, it's not dissuading these people from lining up. There's a huge line for people wanting to buy official merchandise here. They are certainly passionate consumers at this race. And behind me are some very interesting flags, which if you happen to shoot them in the right moment, provide some funny gurning faces of some of the F1 drivers. Now let's go back to FP1 and Logan Sargent's disappointing performance. I was shooting just next to the area that he came off. I didn't hear anything. So it was obviously a surprisingly quiet crash because the first I knew about it was a couple of guys running towards this scene. So I grab my long lens and then I stand and witness Logan looking pretty sad about the situation. He ended up uh, making the short walk over to the medical car, said he was okay, jumped in that, and then he headed back to pit lane. Of course, last race, we had the drama of his teammate crashing and putting that car out of action, but today, it was Logan's turn. This obviously puts a lot of pressure on the young fella, and of course, with more pressure, you tend to take fewer risks, it means he's not as fast, and it can be a downward spiral. I hope for his case, it is not. Lewis Hamilton came in yesterday, and unusually, um, didn't want to be photographed. In fact, his security guy asked a couple of us not to use the photos. Um, the ones I had weren't very good, so it was no big drama. But that's unusual. It happens from time to time, and I guess in our situation, if we're working with these people, often it's in our best interest not to publish those photos. In this case, they weren't really worthy of publishing anyway. I don't know what the other guy's photos were like, but today he came in and he was all smiles and very happy to make that walk along the paddock catwalk. Funnily enough, there was a gentleman up the top here, an F1 Experiences client, who was shouting, gift, 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 repeatedly. He got Lewis's attention just as he walked inside the hospitality suite. Lewis pointed up to him and said to his security guy, please go and grab that. And the fella tossed down this envelope, which the security guard gave to Lewis. Obviously, I have no idea what was in it, but he certainly got Lewis's attention. Lewis was wearing Tommy Hilfiger, and I think these are Namias jeans from Charles Leclerc. He looked pretty slick coming in this morning. Carlos Sainz stopped for a little bit and chatted with Helmut Marco, and also Peter Hardenacker from Sky Sport Germany. What were they talking about? Well, I can't actually say because Peter told me about it. But uh, maybe we'll hear something coming up in the future, but I don't think it was contract negotiations. The cherry blossoms are out. It's perfect timing because I've never been here when cherry blossom season has been in full swing. I went to a um, castle in Nagoya the other day where they were beautiful, but there are some highly visible here at the track and even feature in some of our photos. Talking Charles Leclerc, this weekend he's wearing a special Jules Bianchi helmet in memory of Jules who died one decade ago at pretty much the exact same spot where today Logan Sargent went off. Now, somebody mentioned to me that all the cars that go around the track and they take drivers uh, from here to the fan zone, they also shuttle people around, have had the Honda stickers stuck up. I don't know why. Maybe it's a clash of sponsors, but certainly um, that's unusual. It does happen occasionally, but Honda getting no value out of their logo on the front of their cars. And I did a meet and greet this afternoon, and it was probably one of the most fun meet and greets I've done in a long time. And I've come across my own sign from this <laughs> lovely young lady. Domorigato gozaimasu. Well, this is really remarkable out here. Some people have bought some very interesting things. Look at that, I've never seen a hat with a Scale Electrics car running around the outside. And I used to have Scale Electrics as a kid, but that would be 120 people. And what I'm convinced of is that some of the people at the back have perhaps just got in on the end of this thinking that someone, and have no idea what I do, but I'm thankful that the people who are here do have an idea of what I do, and this car will go around forever. 
One of the great things about this media centre is that uh, we have Nikon and Canon with representatives here. Of course, this is their home country, and uh, I'm a Canon shooter, so these guys in the background are immensely valuable to me. Not only do they clean our sensors of our cameras, but they also lend us equipment, which is a great chance to try new stuff, and obviously for them, um, it's a great sales strategy. Now, one of the best dressed men of the paddock is this man. It is Nobuaki Sonoda. Yes, father of Yuki. He never ceases to amaze me with his fine dress sense. Uh, also today, parents-wise, we had Pierre Gasly's mum, Pascal, and father, Jean-Jacques. And did you know that Pierre's middle names are Jean-Jacques after his father? It's now 20 minutes to six, and I can tell you the paddock here is very quiet. Hardly anything is going on. There are no fans left here. The drivers are tucked away in their driver's meeting, and I guess we're probably all gonna earn ourselves a little early night here. Well, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers, lads. Cheers. So with that said, I'll say please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Uh, only about 50% of you are subscribed, and that's very disappointing. And for a whole lot of extra stuff, check out these sites. Thanks for watching. And stay passionate. I was hoping to... <laughs> I was, this is the... <laughs> Sorry.